Hi, and welcome to this fourth episode of our all-time favorite topic, Android development. Okay, let's get started and let's make coding great once again. Step three, allow the user to perform some categorical search. So this will help the user to find out or to learn about the restaurants, parks, museums, metro stations, which are located around the castle. Okay, so here we are in the detail activity. So let's go to the activity detail. Command click on that to go to the layout file. Okay, so in here, I'd like to add three things actually. I'd like to add a floating action button that I'd like it to appear right there. And then a text view that says search for, and then a spinner, which will display a drop down list, which will allow the user to select to search for hotels, or restaurants, or museums, or things like that. So let's add that right in here. Okay, so here we are. This is the floating action button, and it's called Fab Search Category. As you can see, it has three problems. First of all, the description is going now right underneath it. Let's go to the scrollable view, and let's make sure that it is now located above the uh, search category, okay? Right, okay, that's good enough for us. Let's get back to our floating action button and then let's fix this one. Apparently, this location icon is not there, so let's go and add it. As always, let's go to the drawable folder, right click, new, picture asset, and in here, let's search for search. Okay, so this one, location search. Okay, to that, next, and finish. And we're done with that. Okay, this method is not created yet. We will create it in just a second. How about the text view? Here's the text view. As you can see, uh, it says search for. And that's because the text property in here, uh, if we command click on this or control click on this, it will say search for in the strings file, again in the values folder. Let's go back to the activity detail. And all of these, by the way, all of these three views, the floating action button, the text view, and the spinner, all of them are located above the fab navigate straight view, which is this one here. And as you can see, I am not wasting your time on coding these XML views. This is because we've done it so many times again and again in the past episodes. So for those of you who would like to know about them, please watch my previous episodes or just Google them. Thank you. All right, okay, what else is there? And here's the spinner, again, uh, the spinner is above navigate straight view and it's located also to the right of or to the end of the search for text view. And that's it, let's now create this method. So how do we do that? Alt and enter, yep, alt and enter. Let's create that in the detail activity, here we are. So first of all, let me get back to the uh, activity layout the activity detail layout to show you something. First of all, I'd like the uh, text that says search for and the spinner to only appear when the user clicks on this floating action button and this one here. So initially, I'd like them to be totally invisible, okay? And to do that, let's go back to our detail activity, okay? Detail activity and in the onCreate method, so let's find the newly added text view and the spinner right here on the onCreate method. So text view, okay, TV search for equal to find view by ID r.id.tv search for. Here we are. And the other one is the spinner. Let's find also the spinner, the sp again search for equal to find view by ID. I could have just replicated the line by the way. Uh, R dot ID dot SP search for. There we are. Okay. Right. And the next thing is that I'd like to make them invisible and totally gone. So let's have this. TV search for dot set visibility. And do we have gone? Yep. There we are. So this will remove the entire text view from the screen. 
and let's duplicate this line and instead of TV search for it's have the SP okay and that's it right brilliant so next I'd like to turn them on from that method from the search method but to be able to access them we will need to make these two fields to become class level fields or global uh, fields so let's do that again let's have alt and enter split into declaration and assignment similar thing for this one alt and enter split into declaration and assignment and let's now take this cut it let's have it in here private okay and similarly let's cut this and let's take it in here private and this now has just made them class level variables okay so now we can reference them from our search method let's go back to our activity detail layout okay and here's the method that we're looking for so command click on this one that will take us in here so when the user clicks on the search floating button the first thing that i'd like to show them is to show them that text view and allow them to select a search query from the drop down list from the spinner so let's go back to the onCreate method okay let's copy these two lines of code and now let's find our search method here we are and instead of gun let's have visible okay right okay so that is that so now the user can see and select from the drop down list a search term for example restaurants okay so now the spinner you know we remember in the previous episodes we do have uh, a spinner from before right this one here is our spinner as you can see our spinner reads from an array okay and so that means we will have to create an array for our set of search terms so let's command click on this one okay and here's our arrays file which is available in the values folder right okay and in here let's have some search terms okay here we are so the name is example searches array and we are going to allow the user to select from a search term of restaurants hotels petrol stations parks or museums and as you can see all of these terms can be of need to visitors and tourists when they visit our forts or castles okay so let's go back to our detail activity and let's be smart since we already have a process spinner method okay let's look at the code in here and the code that we need is exactly similar to this one yeah so you might as well copy and paste right and then we will try to make these two spinners read from a common method we'll extract the method so let's first copy this code okay all of it and see and let's paste it in here and obviously we need to uh, make some changes so first of all for the find method we need to find our own spinners and by the way we already have it right we already have it so we don't need to find it anymore remember there we are we've already executed this method here see so we don't need to find it again brilliant so instead of spinner it's called sp search for and similarly to this one sp search for okay and as for the adapter obviously now we need to find our array not the nums array because the nums array if we command click on it it will take us to these numbers okay we don't want that we want this one so that means we'll have to use this name let's go back to the detail activity and let's have dot example search array okay the rest of the items is exactly the same right and let's now change these lines of code okay so for the first one obviously we're gonna have string search query and then we of course we expect the string so we don't need an to get parse okay and but please notice that this method here get item at position i this will return an object not a string as you can see if we just delete it and click dot get item at position as you can see it retains an object okay so let's select it again i for the position and now we need to convert this into a string so to string okay uh, please note that this adapt view with a small a is this one is this object here so if at your end 
this says pound, so this would have to be pound. The exact same thing for I. If this says position, this would have to say position. Okay, so let's delete these three lines of code. We don't need them anymore. And let's now uh, search for this query. But I'd like to show you something, yeah? I want to make sure that the user does not search for the word select. Because if we command click onto our array, we will see that the first option is please select. So we need to make sure to uh, exclude this from the search term. Okay, so let's copy the word select. Let's go back to our detail activity. So in here, we're going to say this. If not, yeah, if not, search query contains and the word select, okay, then do your search term. Okay. And now, let's be smart once again, and let's go and search for the uh, show on Google Maps, which is this one here. So let's copy these two lines of code, because they're almost exactly the same, almost, nearly. Let's copy them, and let's paste them in here. Uh, so this is exactly correct. So the only thing that we need to add in here is the search items. Let's have plus, and let's have something like this. Question mark, Q equal to, and the search query, or the search item. And that's it, my friends. That will hopefully do it, okay? But since we have two methods with very similar code, can we somehow have a common method between them two? Because these three lines of code are very, very similar to this ones here. Okay? And so, yes, I can. So, let's duplicate this line here. Let's create a new method, which is called Okay, process, spinner, common, okay, and let's pass it two things. Let's pass it the name of the spinner first, okay, and the second thing is that let's pass it the array, and both of these are integers, by the way, okay, right, we can actually delete this line, we don't need it, and now we can create this method, okay, so alt and enter, create method, and there we are, this will return a spinner for us, okay, so now we can actually move these three lines of code, command X, let's cut them, and let's have them in here, okay? So first of all, let's have this line, spinner, okay, spinner equal to find view by ID, and then let's find this spinner number in here. And finally, let's return the spinner, okay? And one more thing we need to change. Obviously, we need to change the array. So let's have, instead of nums array, let's just call it array. Okay, let's have this array in here. Right, so now I can reuse this method across two different methods. Okay, right, with this one. And also, let me copy this one here. And let's go to uh, our search category, the one that we were just finished about it, this one. Okay, so let's have it in here. And this time, my friends, it's, it's be searched for, and instead of nums array, it's example searches array. Okay, so this means now we can delete these three lines of code and replace the words sp search for with spinner. Have we done the exact same thing with the process spinner? Yep, we have. Right, so I think we're done. I think it's time to test it. And let's see what happens, okay? Let me run it on my physical device and let's make sure that I have internet connection and everything. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Right. Let's first of all go to Al Jalali Fort. Okay. Let's first of all retest this functionality in here because remember we've changed some code about this spinner. Okay, so let's go and select two for example. Okay. So that seems to be working. Two times 1.5 is equal to three. Let's try to book and see notification. So let's click on that. And Yahoo, that seems to be working. Okay, so as you can see, it says, thank you for booking two tickets of this 1586 for three reals. Okay, that seems to be okay. Right, now let's test our new functionality. Let's see if we can search about interesting items close to this fort. Okay, so if we click on this one, we should be able to see search for and a spinner in here so let's see that let's see if we can do that let's click on this and yep that's it that's very good search for let's see if we can select something from the list okay let's do that 
and now let's for example select the restaurants and hopefully a list of restaurants close or nearby Al Jalali Fort will be shown to us okay let's do that and fair enough here are some restaurants okay right let's go back okay next let me try to select the parks now i am very familiar with the place around jalali fort but i know that there are at least two parks nearby one of them is riyan park and the other is kalpo park so if i don't see any one of them that means there is something wrong okay so let's go to the parks let's see what we have and fair enough i do have the riyan park in there brilliant fantastic okay there is the rest of the parks as well and here's kalpo park by the way the one that i was telling you about and al Qurm National Park is a little bit far from Al Jalali Fort. Okay, very good. Things to seem to be working. Let's now test the museums. Okay, let's select museums. And indeed, that's it. Uh, I very much agree. As I told you before, I live near by Al Jalali Fort. And yes, indeed, the National Museum of Oman is very close to Al Jalali Fort. Okay, and there is the Oman and French Museum and other museums okay let's go and search for some hotels okay let's do that and there is a list of hotels as well okay let's go back and search for petrol stations again things seem to be working fantastic okay how about okay this is just about al jalali fort how about other forts okay so let's go and find for example i don't know restock fort okay we haven't tried that before so let's have that let's click on restock fort okay and now let's click on the uh, search floating action button okay let's click on it and now let's select for example the restaurants which are very close to a restock fort okay so here we are and let's go back and for example search for the um, hotels close to uh, Restock Fort. If you actually zoom in the map you will see that you are pretty much in a Restock. Okay. Right. Fantastic. Great. The last thing that I'd like to show you is this. How about if you'd like to search for restaurants or parks or museums or any general term that is very close to where you are at the moment all you need to change my friends is these things okay and you can have zero comma zero so you can have this this thing and obviously you don't need any of these okay right if you search for this this will give you the restaurants or parks or petrol stations or any general search term that you're searching for close to where you are at the moment close to your current location okay thank you i'm not gonna test that but uh, i'm gonna keep things as before okay and that's it the end and finally let's get out there and let's make coding great once again thank you and happy coding <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,